Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Inside A Gamer, welcome back to my garage episode number 9, I think. I keep getting confused where I'm at because I stop, start, stop, start. So what I've done, I've refilled some of this car uh, with some of the parts here, I've kept the engine for now. This actually would probably make my money back now at 2-3, but we need to go a bit further than that. I want to go all the way until basically my money runs out and then we'll have to sell it for whatever it's worth. But from this point onwards, it's only going to go up and up and up. Um, so what we're going to do today... We're going to go to the junkyard. I'm going to deliver my junk, get some fuel for this bad boy, hopefully. Uh, hopefully we don't run out of fuel before we get there. That's always the other thing. We are low. Can't see anything now. But this is the advantage of now having a truck. I want to get one of those long uh, tow truck ones eventually as well for my, you know, when we go to the scrapyard, pick up stuff instead of always doing the same teleportation thing. All right, first stop is the fuel station though. And then we'll go down there. Now, I don't know is the fuel tank on which side. I have a feeling it's probably going to be on this side. And no, they all must all be on the same side because the pumps only seem to go one way. I am out of fuel, for sure. Right, hopefully, um... No, the fuel tank's here. Oh, well, hopefully it reaches. No, oh, I need to turn the truck around. Oh my god. Okay. Can't even get in the truck now. Okay. Now we should be all good. Uh, there's my fuel tank here too that I wanted to fill up, which we can still do at some point. Right, yeah, there's no way to really know until we put it in and hope for the best, I suppose. I can't see anything. I mean, we put 51 litres in. Right, now does she have a problem starting or anything? That would be the question, isn't it? Okay, so we're here. Let's get in the car. Ah, uh, no way. It was fuel. Oh no! Ah, uh, is there a way to empty this fuel friggin' tank? Ah, uh, no, 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 no! Ah, uh, I've just destroyed my own car. Who would put 
the wrong fuel in. Only I would have put the wrong fuel in. What if I top it up with some of this? I need a new fuel tank, isn't it? All right, just stop. So what happens when you haven't played in a long time. Pretty sure I'm just wasting money at this stage. Well, this plan has just gone right out the window, hasn't it? I have to go and uh, change the fuel tank. Right. Okay. Well, that is an absolute pain in my ass. Okay. So let's get this thing filled up with actual fuel. Uh, because I want to change the fuel tank. That's what I'm going to need to do. I'm just going to have to assume that it's full, right? Uh, I'll throw you into the back of the car. Now, I'm hoping when I tow this, uh, tow to the house. No! It leaves all my junk here. Included my fuel. Um, bugger. Yeah, this is not what I had in mind for today's episode. I was hoping to get that car finished, but instead I put the wrong fuel in the wrong thing. Um, yeah, stupid, stupid me. All right, I need to carry this home because I'm going to have to basically change the fuel tank is probably all I can do here. There's no pumps or anything to uh, dislodge the fuel that we've already got. Okay. I think if we just head here on the angle, we should be okay to find our house. Hopefully there's no bears in the wood. Well, it could get a bit awkward. Alright, there's my house, so... Nearly there. Right. Okay, so I brought this home. All well and good. Uh, this fuel tank. Hopefully it's not too hard to get under. Uh, now, I did forget to drop all this stuff off anyways. So let's do that. Pick up whatever you got here. And uh, yeah, we're going to have to take off the fuel tank and buy a new one. Should only be a couple of bolts holding this thing up. I would imagine. Oh, that might have just been it. Okay, so... Gas tank 60 litres is what I'm looking for. 
can't believe I just wasted that. This is the B200 gas tank, 60 liters. Ah. Oh. Uh, if we type in fuel, no, because it's under gas. We are American today. Gas. 80 liters. I swear it said it was a 60 liter one, but yeah, we'll take it. Okie dokie. Now we're going to tighten it up. Alright, that should be it. Suspension on this side. No, 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 it's got to go down the hill. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, friggin' hell's sake. Why is the handbrake not applied? Right. Moment of truth, then. I'm assuming it's just empty, right? Okay, let's just... Okay, thank God for that. It is fuel that I need. Oh, right. Now this is back here anyway, so let's just leave this here. It's a long way back now to go and empty all that stuff out that I wanted to do because I need to put it all back in the car. So I feel like we'll do that now on the next episode and we'll continue working on this bad boy. Uh, even though I do need to go to the shop. Uh, so yeah, I'll come back down here and pick all this up and we'll start the next episode at that point. Uh, what I need is probably quite a few of these things. And uh, while we're here, let's we'll get a couple of these. Keep me going. And then we'll taxi back to the house. Okay, so look, we're going to carry on working on this. It is getting late, so we're going to sleep through the night soon. Let's just clean what we got so we can have a good look at what we got. Okay, that is where we... Uh... Yeah, there's rust on that boot, but there's no reason why we can't save it like the rest of this. Needs a bit of a paint. Probably do no harm actually to get the paint on now. We're going to pick a colour. Okay. That's all well and good. Okay, so what we need to look at first is the floor. The floor... is in pretty bad shape uh let's just throw all these out probably gonna use all four of them all right let's uh let's have a look then at this floor so pretty sure the floor can be put in in stages Right, not one there, not there. I can't imagine it's this as well, is it? Right, what I need to do is actually buy a floor so I can have a look at it. So I need to go back to the lad, bodywork. 
Floor right, floor left. I think we need one on both sides, but we'll start with the right one. Just need to see if we lay it down. What could it still be attached to? Because it is fairly flat, isn't it? Now, it could be a case because I've got this still attached. So let's just undo that. Said a lot of these things can be replaced later. There we go. There's the floor. Other things are falling out now. The sill fell off. Oh, that sill's got a bit of damage on the other side there too. I think that's all of it. There we go. That's that's all of that done. Just go back on here, would you? There we go. So what we can do now is line this new floor in. I was tall enough. This is the right floor, right? I'm gonna buy the floor left too, but I'm pretty sure that's the right one. So I'm a bit confused to why it's not going in. Floor RC, what's this? Floor R ah, it's the wrong floors. Okay. Good to know that I just wasted money. Uh floor RC. I don't think I saw an RC floor. Front rear panels. Because for the coupe. Of course it's a coupe. What's wrong with me? Right. Yeah. This ain't good. Uh, well, I suppose I can... Uh, And now I've got an electrode. Getting late. We're going to have to skip through the night here in a minute. Right. Since the car's upside down. In some ways it makes this bit a bit easier. Yeah, can't reach that. This is not the way it was meant to be. Is that it? That can't be it, surely. No, because I don't have the thing in my hand anymore. I should do it for a second, then the sill can go back on. Now, do you need to be welded back on? I got my stick. All right, you do. Perfect. Okay. Right, now the only problem I have with this now is... Ah, uh, maybe it's best if I cut it out while it's upside down still before I put it back up. If I haven't damaged anything too badly. If I pull you off and you are that too. There you go. Get a cutting disc. All right. So let's cut this sucker out as well. I'm 
Doesn't she need cutting there? Going under the car, I want you to go over the car. There we go. Right, that sill should just come off. And then that floor should just come off. Okay, so I need the floor left center as well. Let's uh, move forward the day. There you go. I'm a bit hungry and thirsty. I do have some supplies left. I'll do us. Okay, floor left side. And we just need you. We've got none of them left now either. Here somewhere. Okay, let's be back on. Now this sill actually has some more damage still, so you know taking off actually isn't the end of the world. Oh, stay up on your side, would you? Okay, and then you should have two more. One. Two. I'm going to make sure I didn't miss anything else out. No. Okay, so that is the floor repaired. Majority of the floor repaired. I'm going to have to get you uh, towed to the customer sign. No, why are you going upside down again? There you go. All right, the boot. Oh, freaking hell. I don't know what's happened to this car. All right, these two are actually okay, so they can go back on. Uh, this is more junk. So we'll move that to the junk pile for now. Let's get you back over here. What am I supposed to do about the boot? I have to try and take it off somehow. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, it's been a bit painful, this, isn't it? Let's uh, move you out of the way. Two episodes to get one car done, just so we can make some good money. I wonder what the money is like now, actually. Uh, didn't get much. Right. Now that I don't need to do any more with the floor, it shouldn't have this issue as much. Okie dokie, that should do it. Yeah, I don't think it's all the way on the floor. Okay. Right. Now, freaking out what we're going to do with this. I've got to try and find the bolts to take it off of my... Easier said than done. They should be up here, but I'm feeling they're going to be down here somewhere. Ah, there you go. It's found its way back up. Do I need to do anything with that then for a second? I want to... Uh... Where's my sandblast hose? 
Hello? Oh, stayed over here for some reason. Okay, so... Alright, now we know that that's all gonna be fine. So I'm thinking that maybe we do the paint. We'll take uh, these things off, maybe. Get the screwdriver. Now there's still some body issues in the rear here, but... Could be a starting point, I suppose. All right. Didn't see these two bolts, but there they are. And you can come off. Light is broken anyways, it needs to come off. One there. Okie dokie. It's them two off. Alright, fuel tank will need to come out. It's not in the uh, best shape. So I'm probably there for a second. Ah, oh. oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Pulling out the floor, I pulled out the seats as well. Well, the one seat. Where did the other one go? Okay, that's all good. That's all good. Those wheel arches are probably going to have to come out, aren't they? Now I need to do some work on the rear anyway, so you know what? Not the end of the world. Uh... I think if we drop the subframe. I mean, that needs to be replaced anyways. All right, the springs are falling out. Ah, it just fell off. Okay. Okay, where the frig is the top of the shocks? I right, just got to look up at them. Right. Fires them away then, that's okay for a minute. Lift you up a little bit more. Is that this cutter run out of cutting? Yeah. Okay. Out of interest, what are we worth now? I'm down in value, obviously, because the back end's falling out. Right, so this is the wheel well arch for the rear. There you go. That's you cut out. And uh, that side's actually all right. But it's just this side. So wheel well, right left. Uh, I've already got it, don't I? There we go. See, knew I was going to need it some at some point. Let's move this over here. Uh, this has got no electrodes. It's the worst bit. Yeah, let's get one of you out. I don't put you on when you're on the machine. I thought I could. All right, let's just uh, throw you down there for a second. All right, so back under here then. All right, as far as I'm aware, we are pretty happy with how that is looking. The underbody is done. Which is a big thing, because it is a bit of a bit of surgery. What size wheel are you again? 16. I think these are 14s, aren't they? Yeah. 
Let's go buy him a 14. That was the other reason why we were going to the damn shop. Uh, until I put the wrong diesel in the damn, damn truck. Okay, so. This. Right, it's on the floor, so we may as well... I've only got a thousand left now, though. Uh, I need a screwdriver. We take the hub off. Get the wrench back. Ah, there you go. So I need the hub off four. Does that not come off? No. Okay. Uh, it's going to be under. I need the hub off four. There you go. Rear hub. hub. There you go. Right, so the rest of that, apart from this brake caliper that can come off, is actually in good shape. So, take you away. The brake line's actually in good shape too, but, I mean, they're pennies. Go on. Right, let's throw you back up in there. What's holding that onto the body? Is it these things? Okay, so that is that back on. You want a what's the original color of this car? Like a purple. All right, we'll change the color though. I think. Thinking that maybe a nice red, like Ferrari red. Okay, so one of the shocks is actually okay. So we can throw you up there. Did I get a shot for the rear too, didn't I? There we go. See, told you we are going to need it. I can't quite see the other one just yet. Okay, so it has the hub in. This brake disc can go on the back here. So we need... Um, Disc R4 for the rear. So we're going back into brakes. Disc R4. One of them. Two of them. I think that's a good enough start. Oops. Okay, screwdriver. 800 dollars left to get as much of this done as i can i think we'll be okay still All right he should just pop in ah oh, front ah oh, freaking idiot why did i buy front ones the Again, they're not too expensive, luckily. Alright, so let's just put uh, these in here. 
Go on. You yeah, pain in my sausage. Okay, lovely. This is going to be for the other side. Well, for a minute there, it wasn't going to work. Yeah, for this side. Okay, brake lines for the rear. One. There is two. Now, see what I did with the wrench? There it is. Uh, it actually needs to be lifted up a little bit more, too. Okie dokie, just want to make sure what is there right now is looking good. I think so. More junk for the junk pile. And a, there we go. So I just need some rear springs. Let's just throw them both over here for a second. We'll get our machine. All right. This is the fiddly bit kind of all done now. The main thing is, is I need a new, a new, need a new wheel. Now we could go down to the scrapyard for a rim 14. We'll probably find one. Uh, control arm rear is the other thing I need. Whoa. Why do I keep seeing the same thing? Control arm rear. And we're probably going to want this drive shaft and everything else, but we'll do that once we get the gearbox and stuff back in. hate to have to do a couple of jobs to finish this uh, off. Alright, that is now suspension done on the rear with the brakes. Alright, good news. Quite happy with uh, where this is going. Current stand is now 3.6. Probably shouldn't have spent so much money on that truck. Ah, there was good springs for the rears. Uh, how did I forget about them? All right, well, we'll put them in here for now. Talk about them springs fell out. So I'm thinking we go for a new color. We're going to go for like a nice red. So that is now uh, C, B, no. What's wrong with me? C, 5, O, B, O, B. I think there's zeros, right? I'm going to change the color to... Uh, B five zero B zero B. All right, that's its new color.
Imagine how far one can of paint can stretch. Now I know that I need to take the door panels off. And it's cam one done. Okay, I think it's looking okay. And the Kangong might need some minor touch ups. Okay, I'm going to need that red can there so I know what's what. I'm assuming that that's dirt. Okay, so yeah, if it doesn't look painted. Always check the dirt. Right, now how much are you worth just from having the paint? Whoa, look at that. Crazy money. Uh, so, I don't know, will we actually get to finish this whole car? I'm wondering, I've only got 500 left. It might be a case we just get the, the body done. No engine. We'll buy the door. And the inside there is not looking particularly healthy, but uh, most of the bodywork is now, though. So that's good. There we go. That's the last little bit of that. But I actually like the look of it. I'd like to actually keep it now. Um, but I can't, unfortunately. Put a lot of effort into it so far. I think if we get the door, get a wheel, is it really going to add that much more value to the five grand? It's possible. Obviously, if we get an engine in it, it'd be worth even more. These are the, the questions now, I suppose. Okay, it can't quite reach you. I'm assuming this side would be the same. Behind that door card. I mean, was it telling me the paint actually is uh, color condition? Yeah, it's, we took the door off here, took the cards out the back here, which we can do. Yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Should we, should we continue with trying to get as much of this card done to maximize? Do I sell now? Move on to the next project from the scrapyard? Quite happy way the way things are gone. Like I said, would have liked to. Done a little bit more today if it wasn't for the fact of me putting the wrong fuel into this damn thing. Uh, so that can go in the bin. All my money's in this. Is this actually worth any more than I paid? No, it's worth less now. It's interesting, isn't it? Uh, but look, we've got lots of parts, lots of bits and pieces. I'm going to load up the truck again. We will um, come back to this. We will... Uh, 
try and work out well we, we've got a bit more money coming actually because we've got all this scrap to go down to the scrapyard i'm going to keep that for a second um i'll reload this up we'll go down to the petrol station reload all that stuff up and that might get me the next couple of hundred just to to get a little bit more out of this car possible I'm trying to take some of these smaller bits with me as well uh, if you are enjoying this let me know in the comments down below subscribe if you are new hit that like bell and uh, hopefully i will see you at the next one bye for now